all representational art is in a sense about absence. The picture or the words or the sounds standing in for what's not there. Uh, it's all about death too. The flip side of this is, is that every marker of death, be it a gravestone or obituary, is in fact not about death but about life. Canadian artist Ken Lum's recent exhibition at Richard Rhodes DuPont Projects uh, continues in Lum's tradition of using text to represent individuals or more importantly subjectivity. His focus in this one is on obituaries. Obituaries are not about death at all. They're about the life of the individual. So there's this sleight of hand, and you'll find that any kind of addressing of death is always really not about death. These are, these are you know, contemporary obituaries, but they're rendered in an old-timey way. Well, I think the playfulness of this and the you know, theatricality of it or the, the exaggeration uh, of it, the over-dramatization of these everyday lives is uh, in service of the celebration. You know, the artwork, the portrait, the obituary, the gravestone will stand long after the mortal individual has left this plane. The Crusader, One Woman's Saga, a story about the trials and tribulations of Beryl, mother and unassuming housewife, living in the suburbs, herself born the happiest child, who led a crusade for change after her son was killed in a terrible accident by a truck and was mistreated badly by insurance executives, government officials, and others of unscrupulous mind, whom she had deeply trusted only to fight for the way that truck wheels were designed, such that they maintained their structural integrity rather than to explode. How she made the treacherous road safer for countless others, for which she won many accolades and much gratitude, upon which she returned to her love of gardening, bridge playing, and bird watching, and finally passed away from the ravages of Parkinson's disease. Few people write their own obituaries. It's more often left to the outside observers, family members. And once again, it's not about the person that it depicts, but it's about someone else. It's about something else. Well, this one stands out because it's not a focus on an individual, even though it's an individual who, who's died. Really, the lead line is the family, and the closing line is about the family, whereas every other work focuses on, on the individual and tells that individual's story. So it is, it is the, the uh, exception here. The family. Kim suk Ju, infant daughter of Kim Myung-hoon and Jung Sang-mi, passed away Wednesday at Mercy Hospital, aged five days. She was preceded in death by her great-grandparents, Kim Hee-soon and Kim Chae-young, Jung Jung-jin and Wang eun byo by her grandfathers and grandmother, Kim Kyung-in, Kim kui Sun, and Ju Young-hee, and her uncle, Jang Woo-jin, and her aunt, Sung Sung-suk. She is survived by her parents and by her brothers and sisters, Kim Sung-bong, Kim Gi-kwang, Kim Gi-woo, Kim Jong-ah, and Kim Mi-hee, her grandmother Chin chun hwa her uncles Kim Song-hyuk, Kim Jong-yoon, and Kim Moon-soo, and her aunts Kim In-suk, Kim Mi-ja, Kim Jang-mi, and Song yi kyung and her cousins Kim Sang-jo, Kim Ju-sung, Kim Ho-hwan, Kim Oh-jung, Kim Ro-jin, Kim Woo-ji, Kim Sun-hee, Kim Min-hee, Kim On-seo, Jung Ah-min, Jung Ji-wook, Jung Shi-hwan, and Bu Sung-hee. A family is a little world created by love. The one last thing, and maybe we can end on this, the one last thing I was going to add is that whereas each death is individual and specific and personal, that is the person who died. No one else died other than that individual. And that's what we recognize in cemeteries and obituaries and in remembrance. That death is also a reminder of our own inevitable death. So every represented death points the finger back at us saying, you too will die. Thank you.